I am a Korean adoptee in my 30s who was given up for adoption because, as my orphanage told me, my biological family wanted a boy. I developed disabilities as I grew up and was harassed to the point of suicidal ideation and very poor grades. Some of it was for having a noticeable disability. Another was being one of two or three Asians in the entire building, including preschool to high school under one roof. The majority of Asians in town didn't speak English as a first language and worked at Chinese restaurants. I was told race didn't matter in my adoptive family and given a few Asian dolls and a book on Korean orphanages. I hated them all. I left them in the corner and repeatedly decapitated the Barbie doll until my mom finally left it in the garbage. As an adult looking back, I grieved for the child who threw away her Asian ness, chose to ignore it like her adoptive family did, and treat it like garbage. To believe she was garbage and a throw away. Bullies at school got in my face and pulled their eyes to the sides or made loud karate noises around me. They also stalked me and harassed me in view of the teachers, who did nothing. I hated Asia until around high school. I never wanted to be noticed or to be seen as different. The harassment and bullying got so bad I transferred schools. I even had surgery to correct one disability before I started my next school. In my adoptive family itself, everyone looked the same and loved the same things. I didn't belong there and I was on my own to deal with racism. I did what I was told and followed everyone else. No one was aware of Korean culture except for yelling at how hostile North Korea is. Members of the family have made jokes pulling their eyes sideways. Another member told me I wasn't a real grandchild of my grandmother when she was on her deathbed. Another family member sexually abused me for years in high school. Most of the family still doesn't know. Some do now and are still friends with them. As for members of my adoptive family, they told me they were glad I was adopted and that my biological family didn't want to meet me. That they got me. I don't think they realized the impact of how they got me was by a huge loss that occurred when I first started life. Facing this loss pushed me away from anything Asia or Korean until high school. After anime reached a peak in high school, I realized a comfort in seeing positive Asian face as a hero and confident. By college, I got more and more curious about my Asian-ness. Most of my adoptive family members were hostile with me traveling to Korea and became silent as I started to talking about pursuing Korean culture, then changed topics. Eventually, I realized being obedient and doing what I was expected to receive love or be accepted by the group, even if I was ignored, felt empty. I had a missing hole in my heart and I took the leap of going to Korea two different times. Although I didn't belong in Korea either, I'm finding my own path still. Later in life, against my adoptive family member's opinion, I moved away from my hometown into a place I could access Korean culture groups and CADs. I had never really been around cats and was very, very shy. Eventually, I realized we shared so many commonalities and identity questions that I felt I could speak my mind more openly. But I'm still shy around other Asian people. I'm usually around only Caucasian people and grew up that way. Eventually, I really like not being the only one and being able to be lost among the crowd by those who can't tell us apart or for people to actually be able to differentiate between me and the other cats and know everyone's name. I also like being able to participate in Korean classes and martial arts so I feel some connection to Korea. A problem that has followed me into adulthood is the idea that family is broken. 
I'm usually very independent and don't celebrate holidays or birthdays. I often stay busy with work and goals to acknowledge these special times and make it feel like any other day. To acknowledge the day here, happy birthday, are you going to your families for the holidays is difficult every year and a time for grace and self care. When interacting with any friends or my partner, I hear about happy families. I see all the advertisements and it's a trigger for me. They bring tears and lots of feelings of isolation that I'm alone in all of this and that no one can understand me. Everyone wants to run to their families and has the support I don't have. I have a few members of my adoptive family I am closer to. But they have their own lives and I am separate. I'm a separate being. My Koreanness is not acknowledged in my all Caucasian adoptive family. I'm a separate from others by the experiences of being abandoned again by my biological family who said they never wanted to be contacted again by my orphanage with a request to talk to me. Every time it's my birthday, it's the anniversary of rejection that my biological parents didn't want me, and not a time of happiness for me. So, what good has come of being adopted? I have tremendous empathy for people who have been left behind, going through trauma or difficult times. For the shy people, for the people with disabilities. I'm very independent and make my own schedule because I know people can't make my happiness. My efforts have made my life my own and my goals a reality. I let in as much Korea as I wish that empowers me and as much American as I wish because I am Korean American. I am an adoptee.